Now, of course, as I can create uh, individual circles and rectangles like this, um, I will simply not be using those. Those were done early on for the sake of demonstration that I would like to be able to uh, instantiate individual objects like this. And I've never described what circle is and what rectangle is, but this is my plan here that essentially a program that demonstrates that the collection of these uh, individual shapes can be uh, created like this and then populated and then uh, we can essentially provide uniform interface like this get area to individual uh, elements of this collection and now we should begin to describe what these uh, uh, things are right so of course over here I also need another include include uh, uh, shapes dot uh, h the file that I have been um, you know, that I already have constructed. So let me close this uh, uh, management window to provide more space. And I can simply drag and drop the shapes uh, here to, uh, oh, can I? Let me just go file open, right? Uh, go to open and I am using, I am using uh, my project here project 15 source and this is my header file right so right now it's empty so I need to begin to describe uh, let me just uh, show everything side by side right so I need to begin to describe what uh, shape is right so what shape is would be well first of all as always we say um, if not defined uh, shapes dot h, I'm um, sorry, underscore h underscore included, which is the header guard, we will then say that def we would like to define the shapes uh, included uh, preprocessor symbol. And after that, we can write some code uh, in this window, and we can say that, uh, for instance, class shape, right, class shape, uh, will be a, uh, a C++ class uh, which uh, will include uh, uh, perhaps right now the only uh, the only uh, piece that I'm trying to do with the shape is this uh, get area right this get area so get area as we mentioned before is a function like uh, like this uh, get area Okay, and get area is the function that doesn't take uh, any values. Most likely, get area will compute the area and simply return the result. We decided to use doubles as essentially our data types, right? And we also said that anytime you use base class to talk to the underlying objects, you need to make this virtual. Right? You need to make sure that uh, you define this uh, function uh, virtual. Since shape has no clue what, uh, what object it will be delegating this get area call to, uh, it most likely needs to be declared as a pure virtual function, which is done with equal zero to say that, well, you know what? Shape itself has no idea. Ooh undo what I changed there, right? So it says that uh, get area function um, will uh, provide its implementation in a derived uh, class such as a circle, right? So it'll say class circle uh, will be another class of objects which will then derive publicly from shape uh, and uh, so that's in order to be able to provide the get shape, uh, get area rather functionality. And of course, it will use the same function. I mean, it will have the same function, uh, get area. Of course, um, in both uh, situations, it needs to be a public. Uh, typing uh, public. Right? So this will be a public. Um, uh, function. Likewise, uh, over here, it will also be a public function. Uh, and uh, common style is not to use virtual in derived uh, classes, 
so I will actually remove it. And instead of saying that this is a pure, pure virtual function, I will provide the implementation, right? So we can say uh, return, right? Um, return um, two times uh, uh, two times uh, pi, right? Uh, times uh, the radius, right? So the radius, of course, has to be part of the data inside the circle. So we say double uh, radius over here, right? And then we will provide the constructor. So circle needs a constructor, which will be uh, another, by the way, public, right? Public um, uh, member function constructor. Uh, and I will provide implementation here in line. And I will uh, basically, actually, it should be trivial, right? Uh, we will use an initializer list. And we say that radius will be, uh, if, if someone provides uh, double radius uh, to us, uh, then we will simply initialize this radius with uh, whatever uh, the uh, constructor parameter uh, provided, right? So we can have uh, we can have a simple constructor like this, right? So this uh, circle constructor takes the radius as a parameter, then it uses this uh, this piece right here. Uh, to initialize the actual data member, which is this, right? So this, uh, we will actually draw the picture of everything that's going on after the sample is complete and, and I'm able to compile it, right? So this, um, anyway, so this is class circle, so it has the const a specific constructor that takes the radius, uh, and it has this get area. Now, at the end of the last class, we mentioned that it would probably be, probably be a very good idea to instantly decide that get area is a function which is a constant, ver, uh, con constant member function, so that it, pr it should probably not modify the content uh, of any object on which it is invoked. Right, so if that's the case, get area needs to be declared constant, and that is is a, a very advisable uh, thing to consider um, to recognize that the function just does some computation, right, and and returns the result, but never modifies anything inside the object. So let's stick with that idea. In fact, uh, if I'm using this, um, uh, you know, uh, references to my shapes uh, store inside my uh, shapes container in the main function, then most likely this should also be a constant uh, reference uh, over here. I apologize for this lengthy sy syntax, but that's uh, just a proper design uh, from, from these standpoints. Another important consideration that we said earlier on is that once you add a virtual function, your first virtual function to a, to a hierarchy of classes like shape, uh, circle, rectangle, triangle, whatever you're trying to create, it's important to add a virtual uh, a virtual uh, destructor, which will look like this. Uh, I will also demonstrate uh, later uh, how this destructor is uh, uh, functioning and why is it important to have it, okay? So this is basically the, uh, so far, uh, my plan on having uh, a set of shapes, which is in particular a circle, and then of course another, another one will be a rectangle, right? So we can do it in one approach here. Let's just simply duplicate this code, say this is a rectangle, Right, which is also a shape, so it derives publicly from the shape uh, class. And it will have, of course, the width uh, and uh, height as data variables. And of course, its own constructor, which should say rectangle. A rectangle. 
a rectangle, and uh, it will take uh, two uh, uh, two parameters, which is the width uh, and the height. Let me resize this so that you can see what I'm typing here. Uh, so I will simply go to the next line and of course is just essentially do this uh, you know implementation of my constructor just simply using width uh, for the initializer list right here and comma height same thing just essentially use initializer list uh, like this. Uh, if you uh, find this a little confusing, you can basically maybe rename your variables like this, like parameter is width underscore and height underscore. So these parameters are here, the width and height with underscore. However, my data, data members do not have uh, any other uh, uh, characters, just width and height. So here they are. This is the width that is being uh, initialized by the constructor and uh, uh, this is the height that is being initialized by the constructor. Likewise, again, if, if you find this a little bit uh, overwhelming in terms of the syntax, like what's going on, just recognize that this, if I name my parameters radius uh, with underscore, then this will be the parameter uh, that is the constructor receives, and this will be the member, uh, the radius uh, data member that I have in my circle class. Right, so a rectangle is a constructor of the rectangle class, and get area, of course, will be using a different uh, computation, which simply be doing uh, width, uh, width uh, multiplied by height. Right, so that's that's just uh, essentially width multiplied by height, and you can see that obviously uh, get area function uh, is quite different for circle and for the rectangle. Right? But at the same time, notice that beyond the creation of an actual circle and rectangle inside my main function, uh, the rest of the code, like, like for instance, this piece, piece of code that compu computes total area for all shapes that I have uh, uh, populated so far, right? it doesn't care, it just says get area and makes a call. And if it's, if it's a circle element inside this shapes collection, then I'm going to get uh, this uh, formula used because this function will be invoked. In another situation, if this is a rectangle element inside the vector, then this formula will be used. All right, so let's give this a try. Right? So I'm not sure if pi is defined. Uh, it's kind of strange that uh, for a long time, uh, math library hasn't been defining a specific uh, um, uh, pi variable. So I may as well just uh, kind of like declare it maybe, right? So I can just say, simply say uh, constant uh, double, uh, double uh, constant double uh, pi. Write something like this and initialize it to the precision that they can possibly remember. Something like this, I think. Maybe, maybe a, a, a version that I can remember. All right. So something like this. Let's 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 try this because I'm I'm really anxious now to actually compile this code. Right. So let's. Um, First of all, let's basically make sure we save everything, and we can say build, right? So just click build, uh, and what do I need to see is my logs, because I think I got some errors there, so let's see what my errors tell me. So the first error says unique pointer is not declared in the scope. Uh, which is uh, discouraging because if you read the documentation, uh, memory uh, standard header is supposed to provide access to unique pointer. So what we have to do is we can go to our uh, view, uh, the manager window again, and we need to go to our project settings and uh, uh, open uh, build options 
and by default this option is not turned on but uh, we need to actually switch on the uh, 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 this option to say that we want the latest standard or at least a standard that comp that is compatible with uh, a C++ standard 2011 which introduced uh, a unique pointer as a part of standard library so hopefully once I made the change right so once again this is build options and compiler settings is is this line right here that I want to uh, use uh, uh, C++ 2011 standard, uh, which should tell the compiler that memory does have a unique pointer, uh, right? So hopefully build. And this time if I go view the logs, right, this thing tells me that uh, everything was fine. Okay, uh, great. So this is our basic set of settings. So hopefully now I can say a debug maybe run it right so it's uh, when it when it runs uh, let's adjust this as well say properties uh, quick edit to be able to copy and paste uh, make it more readable with something like this and uh, we can switch some colors as well to to recognize what what's going on all right so essentially was able to go and figure out this uh, the, the total area for these two uh, for these two uh, objects one is a circle another one is a rectangle um, the the circle with the radius 2 and the rectangle with uh, with a certain uh, uh, with a certain uh, 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 sides so in order to test this right uh, to essentially to make sure that my computation is okay uh, uh, we I will make a couple of changes so that we can uh, see that the computation and formulas are okay